Going on with trig here, this is something you've seen before, but we're looking at symmetry and exact values. Uh, that is, we're going to be finding uh, the exact value of sine whatever uh, anywhere on the unit circle. So uh, it's probably easy to show you an example and talk you through it and how to do it, I guess. Okay, let's uh, try one here. We'll do sine... We'll do sine 5 pi on 6. Um, now, I'm going to try to use radians quite a bit here so you get used to them because I know that some of us have some trouble with these. Now, here's our unit circle. Oh, it's an ugly one. Let's try again. Here's our unit circle. Oh, that'll do. Sine 5 pi on 6. Now, a couple of ways that you can deal with 5 pi on 6. You could try converting that into degrees, so you guys have a good idea of what it is as degrees. Or you can th try to get used to the idea of how to figure out what radians are. You should be very aware by now that pi on 6 is equal to 30 degrees. So it shouldn't be too much of a stretch to say that if pi on 6 is equal to 30 degrees, 5 pi on 6 will be equal to uh, 30 times 5, 150 degrees. Now when we take our angle measurements, we always start along this line and move in an anti-clockwise direction. Uh, so that means that 150 degrees, I'm going to start here and move that way. Okay, and that's 150 degrees, otherwise known as 5 pi on 6 radians. Okay, that's ugly. Okay, that is 5 pi on 6 radians. So that's our first step. So step one, draw it on the unit circle. Okay, so that's step one out of the way. Step two is to consider the... Let's do step two. Step two. Find the reference angle. Now, what do we mean by the reference angle? We mean the angle that that line makes with the x-axis, the acute angle that that line makes with the x-axis. That's this angle here. Now 180 degrees is equal to pi, um, pi or 6 pi on 6. So that's 5 pi on 6, which means that our reference angle for this particular question is simply pi on 6. Now you should remember from last term this idea, this C-A-S-T idea. Now this, um, so I'll just go back to this thingy. Find our reference angle. Our reference angle is pi on 6. Uh, step 3 here. Use cast to determine positive or negative. So we can see that we're dealing with sine. We want to know, this was the original question, sine 5 pi on 6. We're dealing with sine and we're in here, the second quadrant. Now, according to CAST, our cast model here, if it's sine in this quadrant, it's going to be positive. Anything else is going to be negative. So we know that this is going to be positive. Now, all of this work has gone into writing something very simple here. Step four, equate to standard. Okay, so equate to standard, what I mean by that, we can now equate sine five pi on six to something that we can work out with our standard triangles. Sine five pi on six is equal to sine pi on six, now, this step 3 here determined that it was positive, so I don't have to put a negative out here. My last step really here is to either draw a standard triangle, oops, is to either draw a standard triangle, 6, 1, 
two root three and I'll know that sine pi on six will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse root three on two oops my bad pi on six goes up here which means that sine five point six is equal to sine pi on six which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is one on two now, if you think there's a chance that you'll stuff up like I did with my uh, standard triangle, by all means, make sure that you learn this little table here so you can quickly see that sine pi on 6 will be equal to 1 half. Uh, however you do it, though, that's really up to you. Uh, so there's a symmetry and exact value question there. Uh, these are something that you really need to have... Um, you really need to be on top of these. So make sure that you spend some time practicing these, getting them right. If you are having trouble with them, you need to talk to me in class so we can run through a few.